Hey guys, so um, I'm going to do an update video because oh, okay. I'm sorry my fan is in the background. It needs to be on because there's my mom and brother going to hear what I'm talking about and I'm just going to scoot closer so that I can, you guys can hear me. So yeah, um, I'm sorry that I look kind of like just so sexy right now because I'm not wearing makeup and I've had a very just kind of like dark day I'd say so yeah um so I'm out with Trevor today and he said that he doesn't you know, he you know he thinks we shouldn't hang out because he doesn't want to ruin my relationship with Jaden and I completely understand he doesn't want to ruin it and I don't want him to either. So yeah, it's just like, it makes me feel like, okay, I'm not, I wasn't cheating on Jaden with him. I did, but not, like, only once. Um, I know you guys are probably going to be, like, fucking screaming at me right now, but I really, I don't need that right now. I already understand that I'm a complete fuck up, so I don't need to be told that anymore than I already have been. So just makes me feel like I can't keep people in my life unless they are family members and it's just like I can't keep a fucking friend because there's something wrong with me that doesn't allow me to keep friendships and I feel like Kara's mad at me or just like talking to me just because I have an eating disorder and because she can relate to me but Basically, she sent Robert a text saying that Robert and I are the reasons that people try to kill themselves, I mean, kill themselves, and we're disgusting people at times, and she doesn't even know if she wants to talk to me again, and I mean, just... I feel like everyone just secretly despises me in some way that I don't try to, I don't want to be hated by everybody. I try to be well loved by everybody. I want to get along with everybody, but that's not exactly what God wants, I guess. Like, I'll try fucking hard to maintain a friendship, and then everything's going like woohoo, like amazing and then Jesus just decides oh no we're gonna make Lauren's life horrible now because I think she deserves it for throwing up seven times that day because I honestly realized last night or maybe I realized it before but it just came into my mind really hard last night that I really don't have any control I maybe have 20% control over my weight because when you have bulimia or compulsive eating disorder and you throw up after that, um, you kind of, okay, you want to keep on eating and those calories will get absorbed, a lot of them will. I know some people, they say different things, but I personally believe that 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, the food gets absorbed of it being in your body. So I try to purge before that. And that doesn't always happen. And I gain weight from that. And then I can't lose weight. And I don't really have control over my weight, which fucking, it's, it's scary. Cause it tells me that I don't, I don't have control. I, I don't have control of my weight. I don't have control over what I eat. I don't have any control. And that really fucking scares me because that means that my eating disorder is in control and I can't stop it from ruining my life and that really fucking scares me because it's already ruined my life enough the way it is and there was a blue bowl, new one that my mom got, just a plastic one and this was from like two months ago, a long time ago I threw up into it and I look fucking tired as fuck. I'm sorry you guys have to look at me like this. I'm, I'm just, 
I'm really sorry. And I threw it away because it was in there for two months. Like, j just imagine what would just you know, Just imagine what would be in that that bowl. Like I left a fucking bowl of fucking vomit in my room a while ago, and it was not pretty. It was it was fucking toxic. Like if you would have put that up to your nose, you would have probably died. Like I didn't want that to happen, and so I threw it away for safety reasons. And it was probably only worth like a dollar or two dollars, and just, just kind of just kind of okay. I, I'm being really sensitive about this, and I can tell that, but she's looking all over for that bowl, and that, I mean, my brother and my mom are looking for that bowl, and they can't find it, and it's all my fault, because I threw it away, because uh, I just threw up in it, and I wasted two hours just to throw up. And I wasted so much of my mom's money on my eating disorder, and it just it bugs me because I can't even fucking control it anymore. I can't control that I have having eating disorder, and I can't stop it from ruining my life. And it, it really hurts because I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really fucking hard to recover and not purge and be happy and to not hurt people, and I just keep on doing it. I just keep hurting people on the side. And the only reason I threw it to that bowl was because I didn't want to go to the bathroom. Because if I was in the bathroom, then she would have knocked on the door and knew and then be mad at me. And then I would have got chewed out. And I didn't want to get chewed out with my mom for throwing up. I just. I wanted to give it a secret. I don't know, I just kind of... Like having really bad things lately. Like, I'll be normal, and then I'll be like extremely feeling fucking dead the next moment. Sometimes for no reason at all, or sometimes just for talking to a specific person or something that they say. Like, I really sensitive right now. Like, just my mom telling me that one of the rags was used for this and one of them was used for this made me want to cry. And I just, I just go feel me like this. I fucking hate this. Like, every day I just I try to be a good person and, and just people think I'm a bad person. I'm not trying to be a bad person. I'm trying to be a good person. I'm really trying to be a good person. I was going to take a shower, but I decided to make this video because I just need to talk about things. <laughs> I saw my cousin yesterday, and she was asking me about the guy who gave me a blowjob. And she's going to tell my mom, and she's probably going to find out today about it. I really don't, you don't want her to know. I don't want to get the police involved. I really don't. I don't want to, I don't want to get involved with the police again. Like, I completely forgot about it, and then she brought it up. And I fucking broke down. It was the first time I broke down in front of a counselor or in treatment. I just, I don't I hate it. Life is so hard sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Look, I was actually thinking about killing myself today. I'm just kidding. I just wish my dad would have been the one that would have stayed alive, not my mom. I 
hate saying that because it's so horrible to say that. Like, who honestly says that they want that they wish someone else could die instead of the other? It's not it's not a healthy thing to think about. I just hate how I try to keep people in my life and they just seem not to want to be in my life. It's like I wonder what I did to deserve all of it. Like honestly, what did I do? Did you ever just think, what the fuck did you do to deserve everything that's happened to you? That's basically what I think. I just think about that all the time, like why the fuck did this have to happen? So people just don't understand that you can't, you can't just like, you, you I don't know how to even word it. You can't just be happy. You just, sometimes, okay, counselors are not always right. You can be sad for no fucking reason. <laughs> because that is your personality disorder. You can have really bad mood swings because that's just your personality disorder. <laughs> it's a fucking disorder and I fucking hate it. <sighs> and I was listening to this song called Rescue by The Weeknd last night. And I just I listened to the song when I was with Robert one <laughs> time. It just it brought back so many memories and it just hurt so much. <laughs> I don't even know where it's at. <laughs> What's ironic about it is that the first time I tried to do it, it was in the exact same place that it was the last time that I cut myself there. And it's also in the place that it was at last time on this right there. And it's fucking scary. I feel like Courtney doesn't want to be friends with me anymore. I just hate it. I'm just a fucking fuck up. I just fucking hate it. I wish like everything could just be so much easier. I don't want my mom to know about it. I don't want her to know about the blue job. To put the guy that made me because she's gonna be all paranoid and not let me hang out with my guy friends and it's just gonna fucking suck. <laughs> I saw Robert about two days ago and he was so fucking dead. His face and everything. I just wanted to fucking cry but I felt so dead from seeing it that I couldn't let any tears out. He almost got in an accident on his way home. <laughs> it was all my fault because because I, I wouldn't be with him. And it's all my fault. <laughs> I didn't care that I gave him a chance, and then she stopped talking to me. <laughs> We're talking now, but it just really hurts because. Like, we are in love. <laughs> it's sickening because he was her ex and the reason they broke up. And it's all my fault that they broke up. <laughs> and I ruined everything. And it's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's just how I feel right now. I hate it. I just fucking hate it. I don't can't go in public without having people stare at me like I'm wondering what the fuck? Why do they stare at me? What the fuck did I do? I just want to go to McDonald's to get a frappuccino. I don't want to be stared at by everybody. I just want to go there. I can't go home and go to bed and talk to my friends. I don't want it to be like this. Just. I don't know if Tara likes me anymore because I miss this person. Hey, what's up?
<coughs> a while later, she's the babysitting, and I'm like, hey, uh, well, next time, whenever you're not busy, you can text me, we can hang out, and I'll try not to be weird, because I'm kind of crazy, you know? <laughs> so, you know, like, goofy weird, and she doesn't, and she didn't text back, <laughs> and I just feel like I was, like I did something wrong, and I was bugging her. <laughs> I think I ruined my friendship with one of my best friends. <laughs> you know, I ruined everything with everybody. I just feel like I don't know what I did. I just feel like God doesn't want me to be happy. Like, I don't have the right to be happy. Like, he had these plans out that I would be miserable my whole entire life. You <laughs> know, if I kill myself or die for humbling me up for something. I'm gonna have to live again because I didn't live the way, the correct way. <laughs> and I hate it. I fucking hate it. I just wish my dad was here. I just wish my dad was here and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I actually wish both of them were here and they got along. And I just hate how we've gone. <laughs> it me so much. Because <laughs> I love talking about things, but this video is getting too long, and I didn't expect, I didn't expect it to be this long, and I'm sorry, and it was so long, bye, I love you all, bye, have a good night.